In this video, we're going to compute the partial derivatives of this function. So let's compute del h del x. So this is the partial derivative of h with respect to x. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So when we take this derivative, we do have to use the chain rule. So it's just going to be this. So e to the negative x to the sixth plus y to the sixth times the derivative of the inside. So when we're taking the derivative of the inside, we have to keep in mind that this is a partial derivative. So the derivative of y is going to be zero. In particular, the derivative of y to the sixth is zero. Everything else is constant when you take a derivative with respect to x. So all we do is we take the derivative of this piece here. So it'll be negative 6x to the 5. And the derivative of this is 0, so we, we won't write it. To finish, maybe we can put this in the front. That's a good idea. This will be negative 6x to the 5th, e, and then negative, and then parentheses, x to the 6th, plus, plus y to the 6th. And that would be the beautiful final answer. What a, what a nice answer. Now we're going to do del h del y. So the partial derivative of h with respect to y. Same thing, chain rule again. So this will be e to the negative x to the sixth plus y to the sixth. Except this time, the x is going to become zero. This is going to become zero because we're taking the partial with respect to y. So all of the x's are constants. So this derivative here will be zero. So the derivative of the inside is only going to give us negative and then 6y to the fifth. Good stuff. As before, we just put this in the front. So this is negative 6y to the fifth. And then we have the exponential function. So negative x to the sixth plus y to the sixth. And that would be the partial derivative of h with respect to y. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.